everyone. Myself, Sai Prasad, a lecturer in the Ahlabad High School and the Junior College. We have been discussing the different concepts of trigonometry up to transformations till now. We have started with the basics of what is the trigonometry, what is an angle, what are the different problems of trigonometry in our previous exercise. Today, we will discuss about what is the domain, range and the period of a function. Okay. What are the different trigonometric functions we have discussed? We have discussed six trigonometric functions that is sin cos tan, cosecant, secant and cot. Right? We have seen the different values for it. We have placed the values from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Did we? Is not it? We have started from 0, we have gone to 90, 180, 270, 360. Right? Then tell how many values we can present in it and what is the range of those values? Let us discuss that and before that let us have a small topic what is a period of a function. Actually what do you mean by the term period? Hope you understand you will have different different periods. Which means for 45 minutes you will have the first period and the next 45 minutes you will have the second period. Which means the same content will be repeated. Is it clear? For example, let us have a graph of a sine wave. See here if this is my x let us have the graph of sin x. Right? Let us take here it as 0, what are the angles? Uh, let us take it as some pi by 4, pi by 2. Next, now let us write the different values of sin at different different angles. What is the value of sin 0? It is 0, right? Let us mark it. What is the value of sin pi by 4? Sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2, right? It is somewhere in between. The next is sin pi by 2. What is the value of sin pi by 2? That is sin 90 which is 1. Is it right? Then next is sin 3 pi by 4 which is 90 plus 45. Right? What is the value of it? It is again 1 by 2. Since it is in second quadrant, sin is again positive. Remember that. And next is sin pi. What is the value of sin pi? 180, 90 plus 90. Right? We assume it to be second quadrant. Again it will be 0, it becomes cos 90, it becomes 0. The next value is again, let us take one more uh, value of that. We get it as after pi, let us have it as, uh, let us directly write it uh, 3 pi by 2. What is the value of three, uh, sin at 3 pi by 2? It is minus 1, right? After that again if you take 2 pi, then it will become like, this is a sine wave. Is it clear? Is it repeating in the same way? This is being same and the this is being same. Right? After this again it will start repeating in the topmost thing that is again from uh, 2 pi it is again it will again come into the first quadrant. Is not it? This is how it will be repeating in the same way. Right? After how much part it is repeating from this point to this point, right? This is the first initial thing. After that, this will repeat again, that will repeat again, right? After how much time is it repeating? That is after x is equal to 2 pi, it is again repeating the same thing. Is it clear? Which means, for example, if my class is somewhere 45 minutes, then after 45 minutes, the next teacher will come. After that, the next teacher will come. Similarly, here also the same thing will repeat after 2 pi radians. Is it clear? Then we can define it as period of a function. Right? Theoretically, you can see this definition here. If x of f of x plus p is equal to f of x, is it clear? Let us assume x is 0. Right? After 2 pi, does it have the same value 0? Is it not? See here, for example, let us assume some pi by 2. After 2 pi, that is somewhere here, does it have the same value? Yes, it has the same value, which means the sign is repeating after 2 pi radians. Therefore, we can define it confirmly that a sin x has a period of 2 pi. Right? In general, let us uh, have a look on few uh, formulae of periodic functions. See here, if an function is in the form of sin of ax plus b, then the period is given as, this is a period of sin of ax plus b is given as 2, 2 pi by mod a. Remember, a is always positive. 
Similarly, cos a x plus b also have 2 pi by mod a tan has pi by mod a. Remember this formula, is it clear? Let us have a few problems on them. See here, this is the first question which is actually in the form of cos of a x plus b with a constant. Remember how many constants there may be, you should not care. <laughs> is it okay? What are the constants it is by the 5, 6, 7, 7 plus a plus b whatever it is, you should not consider it. Whatever it is, we always consider a function. When a particular thing is called as function, only when it has a variable in it, right. If there is a variable here, then we might think of, let us have such all kinds of thing in our uh, competitive exam. As of now, for our IP thing, we have only a basic uh, function, right. This is in the form of cos of A x plus b. What is the value of a here? a is 3. Then what is the formula of period of cos of a x plus b? That is 2 pi by mod a which is 2 pi by mod 3. Is that right? Similarly, let us uh, take the second problem. The question given here it is cos of 4 x plus 9 by 5. Let us separate it 4 by 5 x plus 9 by 5. Is it in the form of a x plus b? Then what is the formula of a period of a cos of a x plus b? Again it is 2 pi by mod a. What is mod a? 4 by 5. Is it clear? We can even have different different functions like that. Okay? Whatever they give, we should be in a situation to find the period of that particular function. Is it clear? Let us move on to the next problem. See here. The question given here it is, he is asking us to find the cosine value of period 7, right. What is the standard form of a cosine function? Standard form of cosine function is ax plus b. What is the period formula? Period ka formula is 2 pi by mod a. What is the period given? Here it is given as 7. Then what is the value of a here? Let us write that. Here we can write mod a as 2 pi by 7, right, but we does not want any kind of a. Let us take this uh, modulus that side becomes plus or minus 2 pi by 7. Now, let us directly substitute the value of a and we need not consider this constant all the time. <coughs> let us take the function as therefore, the function is cos plus or minus 2 pi by 7 x, right. Does cos have any change when there is a negative angle? No, because cos of negative theta is always positive. Therefore, we need not specify plus or minus. Therefore, the function becomes as cos of 2 pi by 7 x. Is it clear? Did you understand? What did we see here? We have seen the function definition of period and the explanation of what is a period and everything and we have solved few problems. Let us have one more problem of uh, this uh, periodic functions. Let us see that. The question given here it is, he is asking us to find the period of tan of x plus 4, x plus 9, x plus and so on up to n square x, right. Uh, let us take this uh, x common from all the terms. Let us see now what happens. It becomes tan of 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus and so on up to n square into x. This is again angle, do not forget to specify this, right. Let us consider this inside. Let us not write everything again and again 1 plus 4 plus 9 and so on up to n square. Did you ever see this somewhere, right? Did we see this kind of series? Yes, 1, 1 square, 4, 2 square. 9, 3 square and so on up to n square. This can be written as 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square and so on up to n square. This is sum of squares of first n natural numbers. What is the formula? That is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6. 6. Is it okay? There is a formula for a sum of squares of first n natural number. Let us write this here it becomes tan of n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 whole divided by 6 into x. Is it clear? Then what is the period of this tan function? Period of tan function is pi by mod a. 
what is this a this whole thing is a therefore the period it becomes as pi by mod n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 whole divided by 6 is it clear hope you can understand such kind of problems right now let us discuss a few concepts apart from this period right what did we see what is a period uh, how to draw a graph for a particular function right and what happens when a function is given if they ask us to find the period or if they give period we can find even the function right now if you observe here we did one graph that is sine wave it is always fluctuating between 1 and minus 1 whatever the angle is even if it is going after beyond many angles right it is always being fluctuating between plus 1 and the minus 1 is it clear and what are the angles what are the angles you substitute in it this is always being fluctuating between the fixed values is it right what are the things for example if i assume some zero to some value uh, these values are again repeating here but with a negative sign what is the reason for it then how can we define that is what are the value, values we substitute in it it will have a fixed kind of domain and what are the values which we get after substituting it that is a range is it clear then can we define a domain and range for a sine function yes we can see here what is the range the range of a sine function is always between minus 1 to plus 1 right is it crossing 1 or is it less than minus 1 no it is always being fluctuating between minus 1 and plus 1 based on the values of domain of sine whatever the values are substitute it is assume only the values from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 a square bracket is it clear what do the square bracket indicate that indicates that the values whatever the values lie between minus 1 to 1 including minus 1 and 1 is it right for example if i write it like this a open bracket this is actually called as an open bracket and this is called as square bracket if i write like this right it includes all the values between minus 1 and 1 excluding 1 and minus 1 is it right here it is not like that it includes minus 1 and 1 including all the values between them right there is the range and there is a domain similarly uh, you can find the domain and range of different different functions in your textbook for example cos will also have the same kind of uh, domain and range whereas tan will have a domain of 0 to pi and it will have a range of from minus infinity to plus infinity right since it have uh, we have seen in our uh, common angles that we have from uh, tan 90 tan 0 to 0 it is tan 90 to infinity right it can also have tan minus 90 which can vary from minus infinity to plus infinity therefore cot can vary in that range similarly you can find this uh, secant and cosecant also okay right now let us go to our next topic see here the next topic is compound angles what are compound angles when an angles are said to be compound when the angles are said to be compounded that is uh, till now we have seen only single single angle here we will have a combination of two angles that is either a plus b or a minus b in the next sessions we will even have uh, the multiplication kind of things say here here these are the combination of two angles the, he gives all the formula that is sin of a plus b is given as sin a cos b plus cos a sin b right similarly sin of a minus b is given as sin a cos b minus cos a sin b the same the sign changes right and the cos of a plus b is given as cos a cos b minus sin a sin b and cos of a minus b is given as cos a cos b plus sin a sin b right this is completely reverse for in sin if it is plus will have plus if it is minus will have minus right whereas in cos if it is plus it will have minus if it is minus it will give plus kind of thing right similarly for tan of a plus b we get tan a plus tan b by 1 minus tan b tan of a minus b is tan a minus tan b by 1 plus tan a tan b right and we also have the formula of cot of a plus b that is cot a cot b minus 1 by cot b plus cot a and cot of a minus b as cot a cot b plus 1 by cot b minus cot a and there are two more formulas that is uh, these are only addition or single single kind of thing and one more thing is sin 
a plus b into sin a minus b it is given by sin square a minus sin square b and cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b can be written as cos square a minus sin square b these are the two multiplication formulae right what all formulas we have seen the addition of sin cos tan cot both of a plus b and a minus b and the multiplication of sin of a plus b and sin of a minus b that is if we multiply these both we get sin square a minus sin square b after simplification of a few things there ok. This can be simplified further if I write sin square as 1 minus cos square a and sin square b as 1 minus cos square b what it will become this will become cos square a minus cos square b or else it might become cos square b minus sin square a let us see what why to confuse 1 minus cos square a minus sin square a can be written as minus 1 plus cos square b 1 1 get cancelled it becomes cos square b minus cos square a. Similarly, this also becomes sin square cos square b minus sin square a clear and one more thing is by simplifying or by substituting these values in different different functions for example, if I take this let us assume this I know the value of sin 60 yes I know the value of sin 45 right 60 minus 45 it becomes 15 to find the value of 15 if I know 60 and 45 I can find the value of this right by substituting that we got we can get the value of sin 15 cos 15 and tan 15 right. Uh, we can do such kind of problems in next session, but as of now uh, to start more problems of uh, this exercise I expect you people to be perfect with these kind of problems right. Do not forget without this formulas we cannot do anything right. What are the different formulae? starting from sin theta equal to opposite by adjacent from there we have been discussing different different concepts such as we have learned the angles we have learned the identities right. Then next we moved with the this compound angles right before uh, in between we have solved uh, tricky kind of questions proving questions in our previous exercise right and we have found the periodic function right. After that we have seen this kind of problems each and everything is important do not think that only this initial things are important as after things are not important right. There are many things so that if you learn this ok. Once again I want to stress you people that without these formulae we cannot move to the next exercise not only next exercise we cannot even uh, go forward in the whole half uh, side of this textbook right that is we cannot even do this uh, rest of the exercises we cannot even go for the other chapters also ok. Is it clear? Uh, hope everyone will uh, be ready with this uh, formula by next week. Is it okay? Fine. This is for today. Let us discuss few more problems with uh, these problems of the third exercise in our next session. Okay. Fine. Thank you.